Lawrence. Got a block. Great cut. He's got a wall. Williams. To the 10-5 touchdown. 76 yards for Derrick Williams. Now, that return for Derrick Williams may have been the best single play he ever had during his Penn State career. The best single game against Illinois back in 2008 when he caught a touchdown via the rush, the reception, and the return. Only player ever to do so under Joe Paterno. We are thrilled now to be joined by Derek Williams on BTN Live. Now, Derek, you had the opportunity to play against Ohio State four times in your career. You beat them your freshman and senior years, lost your sophomore and junior seasons when they were the number one team in the country. I'm curious how Penn State players approach this game in terms of its importance compared to other Big Ten opponents. Um, I'm thinking that, uh, you know, these guys, they understand that when you're playing the Ohio State, when you're playing the Michigan, and really when you're playing everybody in the Big Ten, uh, you know, you're playing against the best talent around, especially with Ohio State. You're playing with, you know, all the future NFL draft picks. Uh, You're playing with guys that you're going to see playing for 20 years after they get out of college. So it's kind of like a a, a sense of importance that uh, this is the game that you want to shine. Uh, with the team, this is the game that you want to win. I was fortunate enough to come in with the winning streak with uh, Ohio State and lose, and you know, leave out with beating Ohio State. So, you know, I'd rather take those years than the middle years. Hey, Derek, Jim Miller here. Good to talk to you. And can you tell the viewers and listeners out there the challenges of playing in the horseshoe? You just mentioned you played against the, one of the top-ranked teams in Ohio State back in the day. What's it going to be like for a young Christian Hackenberg to go in the horseshoe and deal with that hostile environment? Um, you know, the thing is, is that I think Coach O'Brien right now is doing a great job with his uh, freshman quarterback with Christian. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that he has them prepared, but it's nothing like the game experience. But I think that the best practice that he's getting, even though that it's on the other side of the ball when you're hearing the crowd noise and everything, is being at Beaver Stadium. I think that it's no place like playing at Beaver Stadium. Uh, I, I think that when you look at Beaver Stadium, even though, you know, you might get to the Michigans and to – and to, uh, some other programs that might have a bigger stadium, it's no way, it's no, it's nowhere where you feel like you're playing in front of more people or the noise gets as loud as it does. Hey, Derek, this is Brandon. Now, you, we both are former receivers, and when you look at this kid, Allen Robinson, what was it that Michigan did to him in the last game that slowed him down, and what do you think he has to improve on for that not to happen again? Um, I don't think too much slowed him down. I think that with uh, with Christian being on it, on his reads, a lot of times, you know, if it, if Allen Robinson wasn't the number one read, you know, he was going to the open guy, and uh, you can see that with Felder having a big game. Then um, Allen Robinson, he's he's a incredible talent right now, and it's it's hard to contain him, and especially when you're when you're dealing with the offensive minded coach like Coach O'Brien, where he's lining them up in the slot, he's lining them outside. You know, he's lining them all over the field and running great combinations um, to get them open, you know, uh, against different coverages. Sometimes it's not always the talent of a person. Sometimes it's just the position that they're getting put in. And I think, uh, I, although Allen has great talent, but Coach O'Brien is putting them in positions where, you know, against man, he's going to be open. Against zone, he's going to be open. And I think that that's the, the, the beauty of uh, playing with Coach O'Brien. Well, Derek, let me follow up on that. I know you put up some pretty good numbers during your time in State College, but do you ever watch this offense and think about what those numbers would have been if Bill O'Brien was the offensive mind behind things when you were in State College? Uh, Although we did have a great offense, um, you know, I I talked to a lot of the guys. I talked to uh, Jordan Norwood, uh, Deion Butler, uh, a lot of the guys that I played with. And uh, we, 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 we just imagined, like, if we were playing in that offense, and it's kind of like a pro-style offense. And, um, you know, it's, it's something that uh, definitely would have got us more prepared, but, um, you know, more prepared for the NFL. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, we, we did have a great offensive-minded coach then, but uh, it wasn't as pro-minded as, uh, as they are running right now. Well, Derek, it's Jim again, and I'm going to be biased and say I think Michigan State's your biggest rivalry because of the Land Grant (laughs) Trophy, but let me let you have center stage. Who do you view as Penn State's biggest rivalry? Is it Ohio State? Is it Michigan? Is it Michigan State? Who in your mind, because this is such a big game this weekend? 
Well, going into it, uh, going into to school, I always didn't like Michigan, especially my freshman year as far as the last second. And we were, uh, you know, seconds away from going to the national championship. Me personally, I, I can't stand Iowa because my senior year, you know, we were on our way to the national championship, lost in the last seconds against Iowa. Um, Ohio State is always going to be the big games. Michigan are always going to be the big games. But, you know, when you're playing and then you, you, you're seconds away from uh, making national championships, or making a Big Ten championship, you know, uh, you start to get a better feeling for the teams you lost against. Great stuff from former Penn State wide receiver and do-it-all offensive player Derek Williams. Derek, truly appreciate the time and enjoy watching your alma mater take on Ohio State this weekend. Okay, thank you, sir.